Hello everyone, I'm Tom Murphy with the ADX Labs media team. We're here in studio today to talk with Brian Rogers. Rogers is the CEO of NeuroThink getting ready to deliver a keynote address at the AIBC Summit in Dubai on May 25th. So Brian, thank you so much for joining us. Let's start here. How excited are you in this moment as you get ready to deliver NeuroThink to such an important audience? Oh, I'm so excited. You know, this has been a year in stealth mode for us. Uh, my team and I, we've been working on an um, amazing platform. Uh, I think something that will be very different and unique in the machine learning as a service area. So let's touch on the creation and development of all of this. Why did you want to create NeuroThink and how did this idea come about? Yeah, so a year ago it was brought on by the uh, CEO of our parent company, ADX. And uh, there was a lot of question about how we get into the AI space. Um, you know, as many of you know, AI is, the term AI is very broad. And so we needed to come down with something that was much more uh, narrowly focused. And the, the area that I felt would be the best approach would be first to build a platform, uh, some type of machine learning as a service platform. And then from that point on, we could build out many more applications in the machine learning and AI space. So you alluded to it a little bit, and let's just get right to the very basics of everything. How would you define machine learning for somebody who's never heard about it before? Can you explain the process of teaching something to a machine? Yeah, so first, it's important to understand the difference between AI and machine learning. AI is really just a concept. It's uh, mimicking what's in the, the human body with the brain and how we think. Um, machine learning is how we, we actually teach machines. So machines basically just take uh, numbers and apply those numbers to what we see and they establish patterns or they try to find patterns or the commonality um, in different, say, a tone of a, a pixel or a color of a pixel. So it's all about really coming up with the, the best uh, average with these numbers. So if I wanted to teach, for instance, a machine what a dog is or what a cat is, is that something that's possible? Absolutely. So, you know, we, we as humans, we see a cat uh, very differently than a, a computer. We see uh, a cat, we see the fur, and we naturally understand that the cat is a cat. A machine has, doesn't have the same uh, evolutional history that humans have. So you have to train a computer a little differently. So think of it as a cat would be a grid of numbers and a certain set of numbers would represent uh, different uh, features of the cat, whether it be the color of the fur or the, the paws, the legs, and the computer then will try to come up with a, an average or in a deep neural net, um, each of the, the neurons or nodes would assign weights and a, a bias. And we, data scientists, come in and try to figure out whether or not the computer is getting closer to the reality of what the cat is, according to the, the math that's involved in the numbers. So then using that example, how does NeuroThink improve how you can actually use machine learning? Um, one of the things about machine learning is it's still really complex. Um, there are a lot of tools out there, a lot of libraries that will help you uh, develop machine learning models, but you really have to be a skilled data scientist to be able to do it. Um, at NeuroThink, we are trying to develop a, a platform that will be easy enough for a student to use, but advanced enough for some of the best data scientists. So, you know, really this, this plays into our whole motive of making it radically accessible. Once again, we're talking to Brian Rogers. He's the CEO of NeuroThink, set to deliver a keynote address on May 26th at the AIBC Summit in Dubai. So Brian, what does it say about NeuroThink that it is set to be presented to this audience of thought leaders who will be in attendance in Dubai? You know, for, for my team and I, this is very exciting because we, this is an opportunity for us to, the first time for us to actually show some of what we've, we've been building for our, our first release coming up later in the year. Um, so we're all very excited about this chance to um, basically announce to the, to the world 
NeuroThink brings the new era of discovery to machine learning. What features does NeuroThink have that will make it so important to this industry in the future? So one thing that differentiates us from others out there is uh, we are building a full end-to-end -end machine learning as a service platform. So what that really means is uh, we are not, we are first and foremost a machine learning as a service platform. Uh, we are not as the traditional uh, native cloud application uh, platform. Uh, what this means is uh, we, with a full control down to the infrastructure layer, all the way up to the application layer, um, we will have full API based security uh, for people's data and each person's instance or project will be containerized. So adding that much more security and customization to how people do models. The tagline for NeuroThink is machine learning radically accessible. Why is this accessibility so vital to you and the users of NeuroThink? Yeah, so this is a great question and it's something that our team and I we really think a lot about. And um, as we were building out this platform, we really want to um, reduce the complexity that's in a lot of the other large platforms out there that offer machine learning as a service. Um, because we are first and foremost a machine learning as a service platform, and we have full control from the infrastructure level all the way up to the, the application level, we are able to create an environment that is very user friendly. Um, you know, we have the ability also to provide the, um, the detail that a experienced data scientist would require, but at the same time, we provide a, a very easy, uh, user-friendly, uh, as we call it, a guided ML, where we even provide uh, models and data sets for people to start playing around with. And once you've selected your, your model and your data set, you go into the workspace and you can start running models. And you don't necessarily have to be a, a data scientist. You could just start to play around and get an idea of how this works. So this will actually be a great learning tool as well. All right, Brian Rogers, thank you so much for your accessibility today. We look forward to hearing much more from you and the NeuroThink team in the future, especially from Dubai on May 26th. Thanks for watching this presentation from ADX Media. I'm Tom Murphy, have a great day.